Looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. The Estadio José Alvalade in Lisbon, a really impressive arena, named, of course, in honour of the founder of its occupants, Sporting Lisbon. The Netherlands looking for a fast start to get things done early here. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Virgil van Dijk. He's just about unbeatable in every department, Peter. He's strong, he's quick, he's totally dominant in the air. And what's more, he seems to really love a tussle. His passing's good too, and he never seems to lose it in important areas. I'd expect this team to notch up a lot of clean sheets with him on board. Yeah, I must agree, especially in view of his ability to lead and organise the defence. Danger averted for now. The room. Played out to the right. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what are they trying to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. And the counter is on. And they've been given a corner. Memphis Depay. Babel. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? Now it's Vinealdon. Vinealdon. Vinealdon! Good run, lovely take, but that is where it stops. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited and they need filling, and fast. Fine, Aldum. Barbel. And here's Depay. Hoists it high. Defending of the desperate variety. That's gone a long way up and away. Blint. That intervention was very necessary. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Vineldum gets it back. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Here's the pie. Chance to break. Bubble. He's got options out wide. Receives it from behind. It's come loose. And it's vi it's final. And it's played forward. And we've reached half time. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now. Still goals. Half time. 
Here we go again then. The Netherlands clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. A little accusatory stare there tells the whole story. Qatar seemed to have chosen a tougher route through the middle. That was easily read and dealt with. And Dyke gets it back. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. And now the breakaway. Fine Alden. Barbol. Timely intervention. And out to safety. Berghaus. has gone out and a second time it's off target and by quite a way all he'd be thinking is please ground swallow me up Nothing to reflect upon in terms of goals here. It is 0-0. Long ball, but not especially accurate. Berghaus. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. Well, they could break here. Finds himself eased off the ball. Decent progress down the left. Memphis to Pie. A really good feat. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And it's the Rhone. De Ligt gets it out to the wing. Berghaus. And that should be the keepers. It is still anyone's game. Nil-nil. to get it forward quickly Blint and helps available out wide he gets past his man Barbol oh well defended that had to be done Showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Referee has just said play on. And here's to Pai. Bubble! And yes, it's there! And late in the day, a telling moment. His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. And that's what the game is all about, find space and finish, but we have to credit the pasta to pick him out. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. A 1-0 lead established. Look, I just think they've kept at it and got their reward. Now they need to hang on to it. A searching ball out wide. Hit into the middle. What a corner here. Yeah. 
Wijnaldum can get it clear. Defending was strong and firm. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. They didn't manage to get nearly enough into the box and that speaks of little ambition. That's a decent ball. Has a pop! That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Now it's Memphis to pie. Caught offside that time. I think it's time for them to concentrate on closing this one out. Hit long and direct. Well, it remains to be seen whether they can come up with that little bit of class to rescue this situation, and it needs to be any time now, really. And he's there to cut it out. And the referee brings it to a close. Pretty much the ideal start. A win on the first day, and a platform on which to build. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group match. Instead, they can take great confidence now from a very good victory.